Core cutting this week. Comcast is at it again. Apple is about to make their own streaming stick. And Roku taking off. We'll discuss it all in this video. In time, you will know what it's like to lose. To feel so desperately that you're right, but to fail all the same. Dread it. Run from it. Destiny still What's good, YouTube? You back in the building with the all knowing and loving all, feeling all, seeing all powerful. Just damn all everything, the sexy as hell host of this Life Gains channel. We're bringing you that Life Gain and cord cutting, helping you save that money. One of the foundations of this channel. And before we do that, y'all know we got to put on the plus seven glasses of the sexy as hell. Because we working on skilling up our craft, bringing you a more informed YouTube experience, something better to look at. Sponsors on my video, if you are a cord cutter, go ahead and grab yourself IP Vanish. Keep your cord cutting anonymous. If you're a cord cutter in another country and you don't want them to see what's going on, or your country is banning you from seeing what you want to see, this will help you see it. And also Robinhood app. If you're not investing in your future, why not start investing in stock with the Robinhood app? It's absolutely free. The link is in the video description. If you really love my content, I will be getting back to doing Life Gains Fitness on my other channel. Check that out in the video description. Even though y'all seeing I'm starting to get away from some of the underground cord cutting videos and doing other things on this channel, I will still be putting up cord cutting news videos. And this week, I read something from one of my great websites that I like to follow that Comcast is raising fees in the new year. Their biggest plan is going to be $200, and that's before fees and the prices you pay for boxes, the prices you pay for rentals, and it's just like, what the fuck, man? A lot of y'all know supply-side economics, and if demand for your service is going down, price usually needs to come down with it. But as they are losing subscribers and cord cutting has grown more than what we thought over the last quarter, they are losing them left and right. I mean, they're losing subscribers like underwear come off in the Uncle Luke video. They just disappearing. <laughs> but instead of dropping price, they're raising the price. Their basic bundle package that is like their, their, their cheapest plan is going to start you out at 155 and that's before taxes and all that. Now this fee increase is seemingly happening in the southwest parts of the United States where they're having to raise fees on local news and regional sports. But all that said, that's just more of a nod to cord cutting and getting the services you want. I want you guys to leave me some comments. How long have you been a cord cutter? What pushed you into cord cutting? The next thing we're going to talk about is Roku set records the past month for our stream and new customers to Roku. If you're not familiar with all the streaming devices, Roku, a lot of people would say, is like the, the Apple of streaming devices, whereas you've got Android versus Macs and Apples. You have Roku versus Amazon. Amazon being the number one player, Roku being number two. They got an uptick. And it's all because you're getting more and more cord cutters. You're getting less and less of what you want from cable companies and people are just not willing to continue to pay for, in essence, five channels that they really want because cable marks those up because they know what y'all are really watching. When you can go and get a lot of free content, get your movies on demand from a streaming device like a Roku. And speaking of streaming devices, Apple is set to launch their own stream stick to get into this competitive race between Amazon and Roku. Now their stream stick is set to be around $100. Now this better be a damn good stream stick, and I don't mean no daydreams. I mean you better have wet dreams, 
night dreams and all kinds of dreams with their stream stick because a hundred dollars is rather pricey when you've got the new fire tv that's on sale right now for 34 dollars you can get a roku stick for like 30 bucks and you can get a good high power roku for like 45 dollars what is it that apple is planning to do with this device um some of the reasons why people don't like apple products in the first place is because apple keeps their circle closed niche meaning that whereas you can go on your fire tv stick and easily quote unquote unlock it jailbreak it and add all this stuff to it underground streams apps and all that you can't do that in the apple technology unless you have other different things that you can put up there to help you do it that has been one of the things that probably hasn't allowed roku to be the top streamer in america because it's very very difficult to get underground streams and apps outside of the Roku platform onto their device. So my advice to Apple is they better make it so that you can go up there and do developer options at home easily for yourself so that you can get other apps that you would like to have up there. But we know Apple and that's probably not going to happen. And the other thing that pisses people off with Apple products is oftentimes as technology goes forward, they kind of don't, don't make their products to keep up with it. So what's about to happen next year? 5G technology. Whereas with some devices, all you need is a software download. Apple makes your ass come back and buy a new device. And the only reason they do that is because people pay the price. People pay it. People, people will go out there. I remember when 4G was hot, Apple didn't make some of their devices for 4G. You had 3G. In order to get to 4G, you had to buy the new one. People went out there and still paid that money. So I want to hear from you guys. What would you pay for an Apple Stream device? They're saying $100 and it might drop next fall, but I don't see how they're going to be competitive if they charge you $100 for something that the marketplace has already showed. You don't need to spend no more than $35, $40, maybe $50 bucks to get a great device. And that's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video, comment, and subscribe. Go get yourself a life game. Leave me comments. How's your cord cutting going? What devices are you using in your cord cutting? And until the next Sex is Hell video, I'll see you.